stay with me because I'm going to be reviewing today the latest fragrance from Izzy Mayaki which is the Lodice Pure Petal de Nectar EDT and there's a mouthful Hi and welcome back to Ellie Smiles and today I'm going to be reviewing one of the new fragrances from Izzy Mayaki but I absolutely love this time of year because this is when you start to get all of the new fragrances especially for spring and summer some of them which are going to be permanent lines some of them which are just specifically for these seasons so this one is the Pure Petal de Nectar EDT and I did do a review of the Pure Nectar EDP last year so it's worth checking that out and looking up in the corner here um, and go and see my review on that and I will go more in depth on um, Izzy Mayaki and a bit of the history about that so just so you've got an idea of who Izzy Mayaki is he's a Japanese um, designer he was born in 1938 so He's about the same age as my dad now actually and he studied in graphic design and architecture which he then transferred over into his fashion especially for ladies he um, used that structure Tim and I were looking at a few of them earlier his design for ladies dresses and one of them was called flying saucers so but I thought it looked more like a Chinese lantern anyway that's just me and he also used a lot of pleating very minuscule pleating in some of his garments so that's a little bit about him like I say if you you want to check out more just check out some of my earlier videos so this one like I say is the latest release this one's been in store maybe about two weeks now I think and this is the latest fragrance which is the pure petal de nectar and this is an eau de toilette so literally I can compare the two there are similarities obviously the pure nectar EDP is going to last on the skin longer but this one is classed as an oriental floral I don't know exactly who's created it but I would think it's probably Fanny Bell and Dominique Ropion so I'm assuming it's the same people but as you'll see from the bottle it's got that lovely sort of like gradiented sort of rose gold from rose gold at the top rose gold at the bottom just see-through and transparent there with the beautiful embellishments and design on the front which were actually done by the American designer Todd Bratcher so that's the bottle with these little drops which I suppose I think are to replicate pure nectar because it's supposed to be a drop of nectar blossoming into a beautiful flower that's the idea behind the bottle anyway so I'm going to spray it now automatically with it being an eau de toilette I'm expecting it to be fresher lighter obviously it's not going to last on the skin as long but you can definitely pick up the similarities between the two fragrances so it's quite sweet but very fresh and also watery I know that this one has like a water note in it but this is what I mean it's like clean and crisp and in the top notes you've got those beautiful honeyed notes as well as pear so it's like a real juicy sweet pear and that sweetness but not overly um, sweet of the honey and then that's just softened off by the heart note which is just a lovely like rose I think it's almost like a tea rose you know like that's hit by the dew it's beautiful and then in the base notes you have sandalwood, you have cashmere in, and you have musk. So definitely a more delicate fragrance. Very wearable. Lovely I think because it's like one of those, it's like a fresh spritz. So on those really hot days when you want something that's cooling but just very wearable that just reminds you of the dew on the grass and on the flowers in on a warm morning it's just a really easy to wear fragrance if you're looking for one that actually lasts on the skin longer then I would definitely go and try the pure nectar EDP but if you're looking for something that's going to have that subtle that what waft of fragrance as you walk in the sunshine then the um, pure petal nectar is a lovely one to try so I think if you're a lady or if the lady that you're going to buy a new fragrance for is somebody that likes those fresh juicy slightly fruity fragrances for the summer such as the 
Original Pure Nectar or even the Pure EDT as well as even the Narcissa Rodriguez the Rouge which I've also done um, a link to up there which is the summer one for last year so go and check that I think with those beautiful pear tones and I think also the C Passione by uh, Giorgio Armani fragrances similar to that that have those sweet juicy top notes that then have the body of the rose very very wearable easy to wear during the summer then I would go and check this out I know that the samples at the moment so if you can go in store pick up a sample try it on your skin that's always the best way to decide whether that fragrance is going to be for you because as I always say these are just my opinions at the end of the day it's always your choice about what you're going to wear and they do differ from people to people. We all like different things. I just think that this is going to be a real easy to wear just to pick up and spritz for the summer days. But it's not going to be overly heavy. So let me know what you think if you get into store and you try it. If you love it. If there's anything else that you like. Like I say before these ones. I wasn't particularly a huge fan of the Izzy Mayaki fragrances in general. But these ones I find ultimately better and more wearable on my skin. So let me know what you think. Anyway that's it for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out Tim's videos as well. And I'll see you again soon.